Mr. Secretary General, welcome back to the Pentagon. It is indeed a pleasure to host you here today. Uh, before I begin, I wanted to express my deepest condolences for all those affected by the terrible earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria. I know that we've all seen the images of devastation. Our hearts go out to our NATO allies in Turkey uh, during this unimaginably difficult time, and to all who are suffering from this tragedy. I spoke with my Turkish counterpart on Monday and promised our swift support. And yesterday, a U.S. rotary wing assets based at Enserlu uh, began transporting transporting first responders to the hardest hit populations. We've also transported two search and rescue teams from the United States to Turkey. And the department will continue working urgently with USAID, State Department, and our interagency partners to respond to Turkey's requests for support. Now, Mr. Secretary General, over the past two years, uh, I've had the privilege of working closely with you and your team. So thank you for your outstanding partnership and your bold leadership of the Alliance. You've helped to keep NATO united and strong uh, through the most serious threat to transatlantic security since the end of World War II. And you played a key role in helping nations of goodwill rally to contribute to Ukraine's self-defense. It's almost been a year since the since Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. And NATO stands stronger and more united than ever. And I hope that NATO will become even more capable soon with the accession of Finland and Sweden. And our NATO allies have stepped up to support Ukraine's fight for its, its very existence. We've seen some outstanding contributions in just the past month. And so today I look forward to discussing how we'll build on that momentum and continue to strengthen transatlantic security as we look to next week's defense ministerial in Brussels. Now, deterrence and defense remain job number one for NATO, and the Alliance has taken important steps to adapt to today's challenging security environment. So we've got a big agenda, and that agenda includes candid discussions about the acute threat from Russia, replenishing and sustaining the equipment and munitions that we've donated to Ukraine, deepening our investments in defense and other shared challenges, including security concerns regarding the People's Republic of China. So Jens, as always, we've got a lot to talk about. Thanks again for making the trip. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much, Secretary Austin, and thank you for, uh, for once again welcoming me and my uh, delegation. Let me start by uh, joining you in expressing my uh, sincere condolences to Turkey and, uh, and uh, to all those who have lost their lo lo loved ones in this uh, devastating earthquake. And also let me um, uh, commend the United States uh, and also other allies uh, for stepping up very quickly to uh, provide support to help uh, Turkey with the rescue work and uh, to mitigate the, the, the consequences of, uh, of the earthquake. Um, this demonstrates how NATO allies stand together, how we support each other, um, and uh, uh, therefore uh, it is part of the NATO spirit to uh, help uh, when uh, a country, a uh, NATO ally, suffers uh, a terrible earthquake as uh, Turkey uh, did a few uh, days ago. Um, uh, then uh, let me also commend uh, the United States uh, and you personally, uh, Secretary Austin, for your leadership, uh, your un unwavering leadership in uh, providing support for uh, Ukraine, uh, not least uh, through the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, which is coordinating and mobilizing support for Ukraine. And this support makes a difference on uh, the ground every day uh, and is uh, critical uh, for uh, Ukraine uh, in their uh, self-defense. Uh, Ukraine is invaded and Ukraine has the right to defend its own territory. Uh, the right of self-defense is enshrined in the UN Charter, and what NATO allies and partners do is to 
help Ukraine uphold that uh, right. Um, we need to be prepared uh, for long haul uh, to stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. And I welcome also the clear commitment uh, from the United States, uh, from President Biden, from the US administration, but also the bipartisan support, which I actually um, saw myself um, uh, today in my different meetings in, in the Congress uh, 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 in the United States to continue to support uh, Ukraine. Uh, if President Putin wins in uh, Ukraine, it will be a tragedy for the Ukrainians, but also dangerous for us. It will send a message to authoritarian leaders, uh, uh, not only President Putin, but also uh, in Asia and other places, that when they use military force, they can achieve their goals, and that will make the uh, world uh, more dangerous and also uh, more vulnerable. So it is in our national security interest to uh, ensure that uh, Ukraine uh, uh, prevails, uh, win, and, uh, and prevails as a sovereign independent nation uh, in, um, in Europe. Um, then I welcome also your strong support for the enlargement of uh, the alliance. Um, all allies made an historic decision when uh, they decided at the NATO summit in July last year to invite Finland and Sweden. Uh, the time has now come to finalize this ratification uh, process. Uh, and I hope that we can see both Finland and Sweden uh, as full members as soon as, uh, as uh, possible. Um, let me also say that uh, you and I, we were almost at the same time uh, in Southeast uh, Asia. Uh, and uh, uh, I think that demonstrates that uh, security is not regional, security is global. What happens in Europe matters for uh, Southeast Asia, for Asia and what happens there matters uh, for uh, Europe and for North America and for all of us. Uh, and that's the reason why we need to address also the security cons consequences of uh, China's uh, heavy investments in new military capabilities and how China poses a challenge to our uh, interests, to our uh, security and to our values. Many issues to be discussed. I look forward to our meeting and thank you so much again for hosting me in my days. We're delighted to have you back. Look forward to the discussion. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.